Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Skull and Bones video. Another one. That's right, we're back at it again. Today I'm gonna show you the amazing Brigantine in-game build. Capable of outrunning enemies as well as taking on anything solo in the game. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, let's get started. But before we do, if you're looking for cheap skull and bone silver items and more, you head over to u4gm.com and use the code CARPO to get 5% off. So thanks to our sponsor today. Let's get started with the video. This is my Bring and Tim build. It is so good. I use this pretty much for everything minus when I do my little cargo runs. It is special. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It got DPS and bullhorn, so you're gonna get extra ramming damage when you use this shit. We're gonna be taking advantage of all of this. Let's start off with our weapons, Rama's Legacy. Now, you may not like torpedoes, but you know who don't like torpedoes as well? NPCs in the game. They will run away from your torpedoes, they will try to dodge and get out the way, so they respect that, right? And we also have the twin on blood, so you can use this if you want to hit your weak points. Either one of these is good, or you can use the Dardanelles. Totally up to you. Now, for our port and starboard weapons, we want to use Fire Bombard a number three. Now, these Fire Bombard threes are amazing because we have extra elemental effects with this ship. We're going to be using this to our advantage, and we're going to be getting a little bit of fire on enemies. For our Stern, we're going to be using Sherlock Slow Lines, and if you don't like Sherlock Long Nines, well, you know, you use whatever. But I'm using it for the Mash Breakers, so if enemies are chasing us and we're trying to get away, we can break their cells eventually. And then for our Auxiliary, we're going to be using the Termites for our PvE type of fun against those buildings, right? For our Armor, we're rolling with the Black Prince because we're going to get a nice little buff effect if our health falls below that 30% threshold. And you may not like this for the furniture, but the iron capstan is amazing. I will take that 15% extra damage reduction any day of the week. Megaphone is cool too for the extra DPS, but you just feel a little bit more tanky and you don't feel as squishy with the iron capstan on this ship, in my opinion. So that's what I'm rolling with. Furniture slot number two, La Potencia Schematica number one. It's going to increase weak point damage by 10% and reveal weak points on the fleet of pestilence. So when season one rolls around, I'll be ready to go doing extra damage against those guys as well. Light mass is going to give us 13% extra speed and it definitely helps out. Starboard powder kegs number one on the starboards and on the port side, we got that port powder keg so we get 10% damage on each side with our weapons. And last but not least, we are going to go in for a little bit of fun. You see what I'm saying? When you shoot off those torpedoes, and this happens quite often, you will have a pirate actually running away from you. Legit, and I've never seen this before until I put all of this on together. And I legit have a lot of pirates running away from me when I'm trying to do my gold runs, which is very, very helpful as you can see right here. That dude didn't even want no part to this, which is amazing. The damage from the front two weapons of the torpedoes can do really good damage. You can put them on your port sides too, if you are that type of dude. It's really good in PvP and in PvE as well. Ramming damage is awesome. Between that, the torpedoes, you're shooting the torpedoes, then ramming them, and then hitting them from the sides with your fire bombardments. It is amazing combo. Feeling tremendous amounts of damage as you can see right here that's what i like to do hit them with torpedoes ram them turn to the side and then boom 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 hit them with the fire and as far as the speed is concerned if you just drink a little bit of water you can get 10 percent extra selling speed you can get up to 20 knots as well making not only your goal runs extremely fast but you can get away from enemies if you take on that wager as well so boom that is my build for in game and if you want to try it out, try it out and let me know how you like it down below. But for right now, that's pretty much going to for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. Now, as always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? Welcome. Don't forget to subscribe because right here at Carpal Game, we a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one.